Climate change deniers often like to claim that the increasing concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is nothing to be concerned about because CO2 is necessary for photosynthesis in plants and the increasing level of this greenhouse gas in the atmosphere will benefit agriculture, which in turn will outweigh the negative effects of increasing global temperatures. In this video, I will show that the opposite is true. Increasing global temperatures caused by increasing atmospheric CO2 levels negatively affects agriculture where it counts the most and just makes climate change worse. For agriculture to thrive, in addition to atmospheric CO2, farmers need adequate water supplies, temperatures in a particular range, and predictable growing seasons. Climate change can interfere with all of these. For example, rising global temperatures often contribute to drought conditions and other weather extremes that can negatively affect plant growth. The plants that make up our food crops have evolved slowly over time and have adapted to grow with temperatures in a predictable range. As the global average surface temperature increases, the weather in the mid-latitudes often becomes too hot for some food crops. At the same time, the excess CO2 in the atmosphere does contribute to some greening in the higher latitudes but currently there is little agriculture in those often forested areas. Climate change deniers often respond that the earth is currently greening in the mid-latitudes. But the recent additional greening in the mid-latitudes has not been driven by the increasing atmospheric CO2 levels. Rather, that greening has been due primarily to aggressive reforestation programs, farm su subsidies, and irrigation projects in China and India. In fact, recent research shows that climate change has been making the environmental impacts of agriculture worse. A recent review article in the journal Science examined the interactions between agriculture, climate change, and the environment. This diagram shows all the major interactions between agriculture, climate change, and the environment. As you can see, to say it's complicated is an understatement. To understand what's happening, first we need to look at world population growth. At the start of the 20th century, world population was estimated to be about 1.6 billion people. Today it stands at about 8.2 billion people. The need to feed this many people has put enormous strains on agriculture. In this diagram, the inner red circle represents our climate, while the outer beige colored circle represents the process involved in agriculture. The images outside these two circles show the impacts that agriculture is having on the environment in five important areas. Biodiversity loss, pesticide pollution, water scarcity, nitrogen and phosphorus pollution, and soil degradation. Looking at the outer circle, we see what needs to be done to produce food for a rapidly growing world population. These include clearing land for planting, using pesticides to eliminate crop destroying pests, irrigation in areas that don't receive enough precipitation for the crops, and intensification, that is using cleared land for food production. In the diagram, the solid black arrows represent agriculture's environmental impacts. The solid red arrows represent direct climate change impacts. The dashed red arrows represent indirect climate change feedback effects. The red plus signs indicate that climate change is reinforcing the indicated process. 
And as Yang et al. point out in their review article, even though increased atmospheric CO2 does help plant growth, all five environmental impacts of agriculture are made worse by climate change. And importantly, these environmental impacts of agriculture indirectly add to climate change by putting more greenhouse gases, including CO2, into the atmosphere. Looking closer at just one impact of climate change on the environment, namely increasing water scarcity, climate change has a direct impact on water scarcity through more frequent and more widespread drought conditions, which in turn necessitate more irrigation to grow the crops needed to feed the expanding world population. But increased irrigation often requires pumping water from deep underground aquifers. More often than not, the electricity needed to run those pumps comes from the burning of fossil fuels, which both directly and indirectly put more greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane into the atmosphere, making climate change worse. Similar analyses show that each one of the negative impacts of increased agricultural production on the environment is made worse by climate change, and in turn, climate change is made worse by increased agricultural production. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this short video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please add them to the comments section of the video, and I will do my best to respond. And next time that someone suggests that CO2 is just plant food, let them know that while plants need CO2 to grow, increasing agricultural production puts more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than it takes out and makes climate change that much worse. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it greatly.